Hello, today we are going to mention how to apply deep face recognition with an OpenCV in Python. Actually, OpenCV wraps some legacy techniques under its face module. For example, those are Fisher face, Egon face, or LBPH face recognizers. In other words, OpenCV doesn't wrap the deep learning based state of the art face recognition models. However, we can still apply deep face recognition within OpenCV. This requires to install the second installation here, OpenCV Contribution Python. OpenCV Contribution Python distribution comes with Deep Neural Networks module and this enables to load some external deep learning models. For example, we are going to load a torch model in this example. We are going to adopt open face face recognition model and this is created by Carnegie Mellon University. Here we can find the pre-trained model. Here there are several open face versions and here let's mention that uh, this one uh, got the highest accuracy. That's why I'm going to download this one. Now we can read this torch model with an open CV. I'm going to call read net from torch function and pass the name of the pre-trained model file and this is going to be my model. Now I'm going to pass an image pair to this model. Here I'm going to specify the paths of the images. The first one will be deep face tests dataset and image one.jpg and similarly this is going to be my second image path. As you might know, a modern face recognition pipeline consists of four common stages which are detection, alignment, representation and verification. We need to apply the pre-processing steps of the uh, pipeline which are detection and alignment. Luckily, deep face library offer us to apply those pre-processing stages from deepface.commons import functions by the way this requires to install pip install deepface and now image one is going to be functions dot preprocess face and here I'm going to pass the image path also preprocess face function has a target size input argument here we need to specify the target size which is the input size of this model we can find out the input dimension of the open face model here in the model definition section and this is my model it mentions that input dimension is 96 and the target size is going to be 96 times 96 and similarly I can call same function for the second image let's see the content of the image one by the way we can show the image pair here but that requires to import matplotlib.pyplot as plt and here I'm going to call plt dot show function and pass image one but uh, this is four dimensional array and in show function expects three dimensional numpy array that's why I'm going to pass its zero index here and also plt dot show similarly I will show the second image they are in blue because OpenCV loads images in the uh, reverse order of the RGB. I can handle this just like that. Now we have to transform the input images to the expected shape of the OpenCV. We can do just like that OpenCV.dnn.dnn. 
dot prompt image here we are going to pass the image and this is going to be my block image I will do it for the second image as well it returns an exception because uh, you might remember that this is four dimensional array I'm going to pass the three-dimension array to the block from image function now let's see the shape of the block image and remember the shape of the row image this is the expected shape of the open CV now we can uh, fit those image pair to the open face model here I'm going to called model dot set input function and pass image one block and again call model dot forward function to find the image one embedding similarly I'm going to do it for the second image as well and this is going to be the embedding of the second image by the way this is the representation stage of the face recognition pipeline and here we handled detection and alignment stages now it's time to verification which is the final stage of a face recognition pipeline but before that let's see the type of the which one embedding at numpy array see its shape that's 128 dimension array in the verification stage we need to find the distance between those 128 dimensional vectors in other words I'm going to find the distance between those vectors the easiest way to find the distance between two vectors is to find the Euclidean distance value and we can find it with scikit-learn library here you can see the usage of the Euclidean distance function I'm going to import this library first and then find Euclidean distances function and pass image 1 embedding and image 2 embedding respectively and it's going to be the distance value but it's in an array that's why I'm going to find as zero index value it's 0 0.42 this is going to be my distance value now we will check the distance value is less than a threshold value or not here the threshold value is 0 0.42 6 in other words if the distance value is that is less than or equal to the threshold value then they are same otherwise they are different persons in this case they are same person because the distance is less than a threshold value uh, this was a true positive case and let's test the open face model with false positive case that's why I'm going to fit the image pair of image1.jpg and image3.jpg and run all cells of the notebook those are the image pairs one is Angela Julie and the second is uh, Jennifer Aniston and that's the result the distance is 0 0.8 which is the greater than the threshold value we declared and uh, to sum up they are different persons so we have mentioned how to apply deep face recognition with OpenCV in Python and in this experiment we adopted open face face recognition model thank you all for watching and see you next time